it's Aunt Harriet's 80th birthday party. I, I hope you all have fun. Don't make her up so fast. Okay, so what is your first memory of Aunt Harriet? My first memory of Aunt Harriet. I think she said, welcome, and what would you like to eat? What's, would you like chicken or chicken? I think it's my first memory of Aunt Harriet. Aunt Harriet. My first memory of Aunt Harriet. Probably her coming to my house and bringing me cookies because those cookies are delicious. Okay, so I have been asking a bunch of other people, what is your first memory of Aunt Harriet? And since I can't really ask that to you, I want to ask, um, is there anything that you would say? I am so happy that you are here, Liam. Yay! <laughs> and uh, to share this special okay. day. It's really a very special birthday. It's a really, uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy. And, and thank you. And I'm really uh, lucky to have you for my grand nephew. <laughs> What am I supposed to do? You're supposed to introduce your cake. Oh, hi, I'm Laura Perlmutter, and this is my creation. Beautiful blue fondant cake with um, lavender pearls and meringue frosting. So, yeah, that's it. Grandpa, what is your earliest memory of Aunt Harriet? Aunt Harriet, it's very simple. We grew up in the same bedroom. We had two beds, a double bed, and a, I had a single bed. And my two sisters slept together. Okay? And By I slept double in a bed, do you mean bed. like but a bunk bed? A, there, no, don't shake that. When there's... When there's uh, when it was very cold, uh, there was no insulation in the walls. So the only way I could stay warm is by jumping in between my two sisters. Okay, that's my earliest recollection. What's the next question? Is that a good story, Dave? That's a very good story. I haven't heard that one before. Do you mean like a bunk bed? What's that? Do you mean like a bunk bed, double bed? No. Oh. I had a bed that had sides on it. They didn't want me to fall out. But when I got older, I wanted to be a big boy, so I, I took the sides off. Wow. He's here. Okay. Okay. We're on. Okay. What is your earliest memory of Aunt Harriet? My earliest memory of Aunt Harriet is coming out to Huntington, Long Island, and her being very surprised that I played soccer in work boots. And she's like, we need to change this and get you a pair of sneakers. <laughs> nice, huh? What is your earliest memory of Aunt Harriet? My earliest memory of Aunt Harriet is her getting married. I was going to go to her, uh, I, I, she was getting her wedding dress fitted. And I wanted to go to the wedding, but I was a little kid, and they um, they told me that I couldn't stay in the room anymore while she was getting changed, and not only that, I couldn't go to the wedding, and I cried, and I was four years old. That's my earliest memory. Okay, and I have another question. Have you made a puppet of Aunt Harry? I have not made a puppet of anyone in our family. Aww. That I don't, I don't usually do that kind of thing. If he really wants it. Good. What are you doing? What are you doing this for? Him. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> Another question for you. Can you stop going? Uh, uh, 
throughout the interviews? No. Okay. But Action. What is your earliest memory of Anne Harriet? What's my what? Earliest memory of Anne Harriet. Ah, my earliest memory... My earliest memory of Anne Harriet was I got to come visit in 1970, and I was with my family, and, hold on Carson, and it was a wonderful visit that I got to spend a whole month with her, and every morning she used to come wake me up and say, okay, it's time to get on the bike and ride to the park. And I didn't, even if I wanted to go to the park or not, I wanted to watch cartoons on a Saturday morning, uh-uh, get on that bike and ride to the park. So that's what my earliest memory of Grandma or Aunt or my cousin Harriet, who I love so much. That's what my mom does every day to get me hyped for school. You got to get up and go ride your bike to school. No. No. <laughs> what is your earliest memory of Aunt Harriet? My earliest memory? Well, I have to think way back for that one. Um, I'm sure I could remember earlier, but something that's coming to mind right now, something that's coming to mind right now is, um, I do remember it was the Passover when she gave everyone a little stuffed puppet, and that was the day um, my little brother Mark got Pepper, the black dog puppet, and he still has it, and it smells. <laughs> I actually don't remember. I don't think I got a puppet. I think I, I was a little older, so I got a more serious gift. <laughs> Did anybody get a monkey? Oh, I'm sure. Yay! <laughs> Do you like monkeys? Yeah. Me too. Um, what is your earliest memory about Aunt Harriet? I'm not sure I have an earliest memory, but I actually wrote something that I wanted to share with you. Um, and this is an early memory. Um, I just think that Anne Harriet is a very special lady, has always been a very special lady in my life. I can remember going to her house as a little girl from the days on Wilbur Avenue to the building of the house at Ted and Garden Court, and then spending many special times there as well as vacations in Pennsylvania. And one summer we spent two weeks with both our families in Pennsylvania and we just lived there. And then one summer when I was very young, I'm not sure how old I was, but my mom got sick and I went to New Jersey and it was only supposed to be for a week. And I ended up staying in New Jersey for two weeks and Aunt Harriet took care of me. And um, I was there for so long that she had to buy me new clothes because I didn't have enough clothes with me. And she bought me these two outfits that I still remember today. There was one a little pink shorts outfit, because it was summertime, with polka dots. And there was another one with white shorts and a navy top that had a flower going down the side. And I loved those two short outfits so much that when I came back to Huntington and I went to school, I showed them off for show and tell. So that's how young I was. I was like five or six years old. So that's an early memory. <laughs> Um, anyhow, what I want to say about this, even though I'm talking about what Anne Harriet did for me and my clothes, um, that the clothes made me feel special, and Anne Harriet buying those clothes made me feel special, and that's the point, that Anne Harriet made me feel special, and that's what she does for everybody. She makes everyone feel really special, and that's why everyone loves her. Did you buy you any other outfits? Because two outfits for a whole week got to her. You know, not that time, but she, when I got older, I was about 30 years old, Aunt Harriet bought me an Angaro dress, a designer dress. I loved that dress. I wore it until it fell apart. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>